Hello, I'm Mary de Campbell, the curator of the Underworld exhibition, which is on at the Workshops Rail Museum in Ipswich, and I'd love to share some of my favourite stories with you. Sydney police did things differently, and the collection of mugshots they took during the 1920s are unique internationally. Now, reading these mugshots is a little bit difficult, so here are some tips to help you along your way. One of the things you'll notice in many of the images is the Bentwood chair. Now, Bentwood chairs were in almost every police station and courthouse around Australia, and the police deliberately put it into the photographs so that they'd have something to measure a person's height by without actually putting in an official height measure. The other thing the photographers did was they would put information about the person and uh, scratch it into the back of the glass plate negative. So you'll see here we've got Jay Dennis. This is John Dennis. He um, has a criminal record in Queensland and New South Wales. Then the date that the image was taken the specials number, now his number is 1677. New South Wales Police only took two and a half thousand images over a 10 year period, so clearly not everybody was being photographed and we're not quite sure how they made their decision about who they'd photograph and who they wouldn't. And we have a series of numbers and letters that refer to a fingerprint classification which tells us that although in this photo he's still a suspect, he hasn't had his day in court, he does have a previous criminal record. Then they sometimes put some information about his um, record here scratched into the negative T2, so theft, twice, and cars. This is one of the first joyrider images that we see in the New South Wales Police Collection. With more and more cars coming onto the streets of cities around the nation, we begin to see young men stealing those cars and ending up in the police collection of photographs. Explore the dark side of the Roaring Twenties in the Underworld Exhibition, which is on at the Workshops Rail Museum until the 24th of February 2019.